Knowing which territories to prioritize will help you maximize revenue and keep salespeople engaged. But the process of territory planning is often inaccurate based on biased assumptions. Let's jump into a demonstration of how it works in Pigment. Everything is property and attribute driven, so when loading data in for account territory carving, as well as scoring and segmentation, we need a number of account level metrics and properties. For example, we'll need to know where the accounts are, number of employees, revenue, and total addressable market. As we continue to go a little deeper, there are other data points that will be required. In this situation, we're interested in how our territories are defined. We have our lowest level geographies over here on the left and here we're defining what the parent-child relationships are. If these definitions need to change, for example, if I wanted to add additional layers to this hierarchy, it's very easy to do so within the pigment model without any additional administration as the platform is property and attribute driven. As we scroll through, you can see that step two, step three all illustrate how granular we can take this exercise all the way down to MSA, zip code, or any other considerations. It's up to you.